I can give uh, my own insights as to uh, what I've I've seen in the field and, and certainly what we've shown through research. But ultimately, when I work, when I consult with uh, high level athletes, it's always a feeling out process. Everyone ultimately becomes their own N equals one experiment based upon what we know through the research and based on our own personal expertise. I, I, a few years ago, when it comes to the evidence-based crowd, I paid so much attention to guys like yourself. I still do, by the way, like yourself, Lane Norton, um, Lyle McDonald, uh, Eric Helms, Trexler, all those guys. I pay attention to everything, right? And I found myself in a place where like, I was like, well, the research says this, so I have to do this. And I was like, so <laughs> focused on that, that I was like, if somebody said something else, I'd be like, but the research says, right? <laughs> <laughs> but then I, I found myself like, dude, you're, you're closing yourself off to a lot of other things that could work even though it could be contrary to what the research says it could work for you right so then i started doing all these like off kilter things to see how they how they work for me and some things work pretty well and some things didn't so can i feel like a lot of people on the evidence-based side of things get pissed off the people on the bro science side of things because they're like oh these bros and they're dogmatic whatever right but then they don't even realize how dogmatic they're being by only doing what the research says so for the individual who's now just trying to pay attention to this information they're like i want to just get big and strong and they want to pay attention to the evidence based pe people they're now just kind of putting themselves in a box of research and not allowing themselves to try anything on the outside and ev evidence-based practice in its purest form has three pillars it has the what we know the synthesizing the total body of research so that the, the uh, research-based evidence then you have to combine your own personal expertise and then you have to take into account the needs and abilities of the individual so this is i've said this over and over uh, I, I post this and uh, i will sing it until the cows come home uh that Research never will tell you what to do. Research gives you general guidelines. Then you have to take your own personal expertise into account and you have to then take the needs and abilities of the indiv individual. And there's so many gaps in the literature. When we look at research, um, especially applied research like exercise, uh, most of it has uh, so many gaps, so many holes that if you're just thinking the research you're basing uh, certain premises on really flimsy evidence, if that's going to be your, your goal, where we might have one or two studies on a given topic that, and some of them might not even be very well carried out. People call themselves evidence-based practitioners, but they don't even understand really how to scrutinize the body of research. They don't, they're abstract researchers, basically. They look at an abstract, uh, bro science and research really should combine because the Best studies come from the field. I, I think one of the reasons, or primary reason that I've come, my research has become quite popular is that I was a personal trainer for many years before I became a researcher. And I'm a kid in the candy store because I'm researching everything that, I, all the questions that I had as a personal trainer, I'm now able to research. And I think other uh, fitness professionals appreciate the practicality the uh, what's called the ecological validity of the studies that I carry out is mm. they have real practical value. They're, they're, uh, they're intended to answer specific questions. I'm thinking picture this picture, Ronnie Coleman in his prime sitting in court. I don't think he would get thrown, thrown in jail for uh, lack of evidence on his ability to create hypertrophy. <laughs> you know, does evidence-based science, does it, does it allow room for, uh, you to look into, you know, bodybuilders and powerlifters, just like, um, I guess what people have been doing versus just the research. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, we've carried out, uh, when I say we, uh, in the field, they've carried out surveys of bodybuilders to get, that's, I think a very important component is to understand what bodybuilders, uh, are doing and have done. Uh, so you carry out surveys to understand the practices of bodybuilders, we need to really have a great understanding of what, what's being done in the field. 